This is BanalMF with an update on my rebuild project, also known as the Trench Valkyrie. And first update is the uh, the paint job. Yes, I repainted it. There's a little bit of a uh, uneven section there but that's no big deal I may just leave it like that because if I mess with it it might just make it ugly again <laughs> so I'll leave that alone the rest of it's pretty nice um might get more than that towards the end of the video um the second update is not the uh, the trigger um, grip safety or the mag catch. Those are on here purposely just for the video. I'm debating if they're gonna stay there. They are off the newest version. They're the reinforced alloy pieces. Anyways just to clear that up and this hammer is not the original hammer neither I know the purpose of this rebuild project was to rebuild the original WE and 1911A1 from the original parts but as you know if you watched the other parts of this rebuild project that wasn't entirely possible since I lacked a plunger, plunger spring, side stop, and thumb safety. But the actual second update is I, f yeah, believe it or not, I found out what was wrong, uh, what the problem was with the gun. And I was right, it was a combination between the sear and the leaf spring. And I'll show you how. It was a bit of a freak accident, really. But, um, well, you can call it that. If you see here, the hammer's not locking, but all the pieces are in there. But now it is locking. See how that works? That's what it was doing. Um, that's when I first started noticing a problem. Was when um, sometimes the hammer would lock, sometimes it wouldn't. And that's what called my attention. So, over time, I looked more into it. And it turned out it was due to poor maintenance because I was always afraid to take all this section here apart, learn from my mistake, and maintain, like I've said in my uh, other videos, like how to clean blowback pistols and such. Always maintain every part of your gun. Otherwise, you get gunk build up and like me, you have all these problems, yada yada yada. I had to pretty much almost destroy the whole bottom section of my mainspring housing just to get it out because I couldn't clean in there. I, I wasn't quite sure how to either. I didn't really want to go about that. But anyways, as you see here, now it's not locking. That's what I have to deal with all the time. And when the hammer does not lock, when you pull the trigger, it shoots a burst of either two, three, sometimes four at a time. So what happened was, it wasn't your common hammer, sear, um, whichever mishap. It was something new. And what it was, what 
like, usually the uh, mishap or problem has to do with the leaf spring not touching the sear enough, or something along those lines, where in my mishap, the leaf spring kept getting caught behind the sear. That's why the hammer wasn't locking. And the reason why it would lock sometimes is because eventually it would just slip past it and catch barely. And that's what caused the burst fire. So, yeah. You would think it would have been something bigger than that. No, it was something really, really strange that I've never heard of or seen or whatever before. So, to, uh, what I did to fix that was eventually, as you could tell, obviously, I have taken everything out and all that. And I've taken my leaf spring and this middle piece here. I, if you're looking at it this way, with the bend in that way, I took this middle piece and I pushed it this way. And it has to go that way because it needs to be able to be in more contact with the sear. So that way it has more pressure on it, so when the sear pushes on it, it can't just slide over. It has no room or space because before it was bent that way more. Like this. So it just kept skipping over, like so, like my finger's doing. Anyways, so yes, um, you can kind of consider that like a troubleshooting for sear, leaf spraying, and all that. And I have test fired this before, and it fired fine, so everything's okay. Um, the only thing that is postponing the test fire video is just finding the right time to do so. Um, alright, so I hope I've cl uh, cleared things up, or whatever, with the update and such, and just to, like I said earlier, you're just the rest of the paint job. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the, uh, firing test. Alright, I am out.